But well, my dear friends, Hanukkah came at the right time because Hanukkah is a yantif of miracles, of nisim in the flows. The, it's nisim that took place at a time when the problem seemed insurmountable. The, the Hashemunayim fought against the Yavanim, the Greek army. And as it says in the al Nisim, it was Rabbi Miyavatim, Gibar Miyavchaloshim. The army of the Greeks was, was far superior both in numbers and in strength. Who would have thought that this small, little, weak uh, Jewish army would be able to, to be victorious? But they were, and they reestablished Jewish sovereignty. And then when they came to Mesa Migdash and they had been denied religious freedom, and so much they wanted to be able to light the menorah, which was a symbol of the, of the Shekhinah that dwells among the Jewish people. But the oil was tummy. So they found one flask and they thought I would only could last one day. But lo and behold, that oil lasted for eight days. But And these miracles that took place were not historic miracles, not only historic, but they were miracles that took place 2,000 years ago. But as we say in the Brach of Al-Nisim, in those days and in our days as well, because the Rebbe Shalom throughout Jewish history constantly performs miracles for the Jewish people, like we say, and, and the Pesach say there, every generation, there are people, anti-Semites, that hate the Jewish people and they want to destroy them and HaKadosh Baruch Hu protects us. And we need, now we need the Rebbe Nishon's protection. Since the uh, Holocaust, there has never been a period of time with such pain and suffering and trauma and loss of, of life the, the, and, the, and the horrors of October 7th are still ongoing. There are still hostages in captivity and every day they are, are not free. The, the, uh, the, the, the trauma and the pain and the suffering is, is, is increases expo, exponentially and the soldiers are in harm's way and, and tragically every day there are more casualties and more loss of life. The, uh, the soldiers valiantly battling to protect the uh, the Jewish people in the state of Israel, and it's uh, ongoing. And then you have the the nations of the world they gang up together against against the little tiny Israel and with with their self righteous c- condemnation. If the tables would be turned on any one of all those countries, if 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 it would be a country shooting missiles into their cities. Or, or massacres or hostages, they would blow the whole place to smithereens. But Israel is always held to a different standard and, and there's such enormous pressure on the state of Israel. And the um, and, 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 and the anti-Semitism that we didn't even know existed to the, to the, to the level that it's at today, it's just, it, it, it went up a thousand notches and it's unbelievable. And even in America, which we thought was a safe haven, and in the college campuses, which you would think would be a place of, of, of morality and values, that is the, the hotbed of, of anti-Semitism, to the extent that Jewish students are afraid to even, even walk in uh, on the college campuses. So we have plenty of problems, and, and, and the end is not clearly in sight. We don't know when the war is going to end, and, 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 and all the other problems will be the hostages and the anti-Semitism. So we need that it should be Shosad Nisan Abba say the Bayama Mahaim Basman is that the Rebunisha now we need that Rebunisham should perform miracles for us. So but I want to discuss for a few moments how do we tap in to the Basman Azad? How do, how do, what what can we do from our end that Rebunisham should perform miracles Basman Azad? So I saw something very beautiful in the name of Rav Chaim Falaji. Rav Chaim Falaji was a a great uh, Godol, who lived in uh, Istanbul, in in, in Turkey, uh, in the um, in the nineteenth century, he was the chief rabbi of Izmir. He was a brilliant Talmud Chacham. He wrote uh, eighty Svarim, and he he communicated with uh, Rabbanim throughout the world. In Rochelle Suchuvos Responsa, he was a, he was a Kabbalist, and his Svarim, his eighty Svarim. Or that many of them were, were burned in, the, in, the, in, fi- in a fire, were lost in a fire, but the ones that we have are just amazing. So Rav Chaim Falaji makes the following comment about, the, uh, about Hanukkah, and he says that there is a tremendous segula. You know, segula is, is a charm, something that we do, a ritual that we do that uh, creates some type of special effect. And we, we have uh, many segulas in Jewish life. Uh, for example, we eat 
um, on, on the night of Rosh Hashanah, we eat various fruits and we say, for example, the apple, uh, sh that we, we ask that it should be a Shana Tova Umasuka, that it should be a, a sweet year. That eating the apple is a school that that should take place. Uh, when we drink the, when we make Havdalah, so you're supposed to over, uh, spill over the wine when you fill up the coast, and then after Havdalah, you also pour out some of the wine as a simon bracha, that there should be a bracha overflowing goodness on, on, in the house. Many, many different examples of schools in, in Jewish life. So Rav Chaim Falagji says that the, the there is a school that the miracles of Hanukkah should take place in our lives over again, repeat themselves, and that is that from the beginning of Rosh Chodesh Kislev, which is Kislev is the month in which Hanukkah occurs, until the last day of Hanukkah, which is already in Tevis, and today is the last day of Hanukkah, a person should be careful not to be misloning, not to complain, not to utter a word of complaint, not to say anything, oh, it's so hard, it's so difficult, and especially not to complain about the ways of a Kaddish Baruch and say, why is God doing this and how come this is happening? A person, be careful not to complain, then a person will be Zoha to see miracles in their own life because it, it, it's enormously difficult. By human nature is that it, 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 we all complain. We always have something that's upsetting us and, and, and difficult and hard and this and that. So it's normal to complain. So if we go against our nature, we go against Teva, so then the Rebbe Hashem will perform miracles that are also against Teva. She says that is the school of not complaining, of not being misloning for this period of time. So you'll say to me, so wonderful, but why are you telling this to me today? Today is the last day of Hanukkah. Why didn't you tell us this? Rosh Chodesh Kislev, which is already more than four weeks ago. Well, the answer is because I didn't know about it until <laughs> yesterday. I, I saw it quoted in the name of Chaim Falaji, this Segula. But it seems to me that even though it's the last day, ha take heart because we're still connected to that school. Even if it's the even if it's just even if we just do it today, the last day, we we it still allows us to uh, to benefit from the Segula. And, and maybe not to the full extent, but but we're we're still part of it. And even if you don't remember, even if you don't hear my drush until after Shabbos, so it's already after Hanukkah. But there's still a connection to Hanukkah, and you'll you'll put you'll you'll file away in your minds that it, this is a great thing to do next year when it comes Kislev. I'm gonna I'm gonna, from Rosh Chodesh Kislev. I'm gonna be extremely careful not not to be misloning, not to not to complain. And the truth is that it's something that we should practice not only during the period of Kislev and Hanukkah, but it's something that we should practice the whole year. And the, and, and no doubt, if we do that the whole year, the this, this school, which Rav Chaim Falaji says is because you're going against the, your teva, against your nature, and the river the Rav Hashanah performs Nisim, that will, that segula, it would be effective throughout the year. There's tremendous basis from many places in Chazal not to complain, don't, Kvetch, don't don't be a, a complainer. The in 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 the Chumash, in Parshas Bahaloscha, the the Chumash says that the the people that were traveling in the desert, Vayihi Ha'am Misonim Rab Eine Hashem, they were they complained and it was bad in the eyes of, of Hashem. And the Chumash doesn't even say what they're complaining about. But Rashi says they complained about that it was, the, it was too difficult for them to travel, so they were they were complaining and. The result was, by there was a, there was a fire that consumed. We don't know how many, but many of the people were consumed. The complainers were consumed by fire. They were punished severely. So you see, it's a terrible thing. To, okay, God doesn't want people to complain. A person has to have bitachon. He has to have a He has to have confidence in in Hakadosh Baruch Hu, that whatever is happening is is for is 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 for our own good, and we should not be complaining. And when when Kaiso left Mitzrayim. So they, they, uh, the Egyptians were hot, in, in hot pursuit behind them, and they, and they thought they were all going to die in the desert. And they said to Moshe Rabbeinu with great sarcasm and cynicism, Hamibli Yang Farm in Mitzrayim, were there not enough graves in, Mitz, in Mitzrayim that you had to take us out of Mitzrayim that we should die in, in the desert? We could have died in, in, in Mitzrayim. We didn't have to die in the desert. Such sarcasm. But what is Rav Hashem's response? Vayom Hashem Amosha Matitzak Eli Dabro Bnei Yisrael Don't 
kvetch. Don't cry to me. Don't be like babies crying. Oh, it's so terrible. I know there's a problem. March forward. Think positive. Rely on the on the Rebbein Hashem. And that's the school of 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 not complaining, of, of recognizing that ultimately everything is in the hands of Hashem. And if Hashem wants to perform miracles the same way that He performed miracles on Hanukkah, He could perform miracles Bizman Hazer. And not only today is the eighth day of Hanukkah, not only on the eighth day of Hanukkah could He perform miracles, but every day He could perform miracles. And our, as I said many times in the last few weeks that I've spoken, is that what we do makes a difference. Don't think that we are impotent. Don't think that I'm just a, 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 a plain, regular, small person in the big scheme of things. Does it make any difference? Yes, it makes an enormous difference. We don't know behind the scenes what, what impact it has in terms of, of, of Nisim for the, for the soldiers and, and Nisim for, for Kaisel and, and we, the, 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 there's so many things where I go through, go through the whole litany of things that, that need to happen today, the diplomatic uh, support and, the, and, and the anti-Semitism being, being crushed. We make a difference because ultimately everything is in the hands of Hashem and how we conduct ourselves makes a difference in terms of what HaKadosh Baruch Hu does. So therefore, the, 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 the words of Rav Chaim Falaji, I think, are so meaningful at, 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 in, in, in the times, in this time, in the situation in which we find ourselves. And that is, don't be misloning. Don't complain. Think positive. Dabra B'nei Yisrael V'Yisrael. Follow the advice of, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Moshe Rabbeinu. Move forward. Don't harp on, on what's on, on all the dangers and the difficulties. Don't be like the, the, the Jews in the desert that they were misloning him and they died in a, in a, in a, in a mitzvah Hashem. We will see. And, and Al-Nisim says, Al-Nisim al the, the miracles and the salvations in mitzvah Hashem. We will see miracles and salvations by Yom and Mahayim, just as they were in the days of old, but also Bisman Hazeh in our days as well. Thank you for listening and wish everybody a, a wonderful eighth day of Hanukkah and a very beautiful and wonderful Shabbos.